Hello and welcome, uh, welcome back to my Hiya. channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to look to see the damage that I made to these, these products that I put in my project pen. Um, I'm pretty excited. I, I have to say this month I did some really amazing progress. Some of them not as much, but some of them I'm like, wow. Uh, yes, thank you so much for noticing. I did change my hair. Yes, yes. Now I am sort of like a redhead. I wanted to be more of a light brown, but you'll see in a future video. You'll see in a future video because I did do all this by myself at home. And uh, it has been... Filmed. So you're gonna see it in the full glory. I'm gonna tell you it's a crazy one But we're not here today to talk about no, my no, hair. No, no, we're no, here no, to no. talk about these products and I'm freaking excited to tell you that I have 11 11 empties and a whole new pan <laughs> So let's get with it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how many times I've used them before I finish them up and a few details about them, if I like it, if I don't like it, things like that. So let's start with the primers. I'm excited to tell you I finished both of them like almost immediately. I used this one four times and also I used this one four times. This one is the Ordinary High Adhering Silicone Primer. This one was very close to be done, so I was expecting to finish both of them. Um... I was really surprised that it was enough for four times. I really thought it's going to be only once or twice. But no, I really had to use this one four times. And this one as well four times. This is from Becca. First light priming filter. Unfortunately, Becca is, come, is going out of business. This one is a nice primer. It's a beautiful primer for those people that have more like a a dry skin and more like a normal skin and they really want to go for that dewy beautiful juicy uh skin look then i would definitely recommend this one this one is a little bit silicone-y it's a nice one it has a little bit of a gripping effect but uh and it has a really good price i mean that the price is really good but sometimes it would do i would have to deal with a little bit of a peeling depending of what type of uh product i would use underneath it so just be aware of that but that one is really good for the price also it's pretty amazing now for foundation i only had one foundation uh, and it was this one from Becca. This is Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. And I have used it all. It was close to be used up. So I knew it's going to be, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? And this one, I have used it for uh, seven times before I finished it. So... I'm happy and also sad to see Becca go and also I think these are the last Becca products in my uh in my collection so it's sad I love this foundation so much I've been using a lot of this foundation I discovered it last year and I used three or four of these since last year so I really really love it unfortunately yeah they're 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 going out of business. But if you want to grab something, a foundation that is medium uh, coverage, but also looks like your skin and, it, and it, it's glowy and it's beautiful and it's natural and it's healthy looking, that is a good foundation to go with. Now for powders. Ho, 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 ho. I'm super excited about the powders. So. For the powders, I finished two of them, which I knew I'm going to finish this one. This one is from uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. This one already had a huge, massive pad in it, so I knew I'm going to use it up. And this one, I did use it. So this one, I have used it seven times. It is a beautiful powder, absolutely beautiful. I loved it so much and it's absolutely necessary under the mask. I feel like if you put this on any type of 
foundation is gonna keep it away from the mask. So this one, it's a really good powder. Um, sad to see it go, but I'm glad it is another product out of my collection. As you all know, this has been a year that I challenged myself to finish up a bunch of products from my collection and that's what I'm doing and I'm so damn proud of myself. Another one in here, I have Juice Beauty and this was the Light Diffusing Dust Powder in 14 Sand. This one, it is empty as well and I used this one nine times times i thought this one is not gonna be that much i thought it's go i'm gonna be able to use it in maybe like five times no this damn thing had a lot of shit in it still and i'm so freaking glad to see it gone this one is a little bit it was a little bit too dark for me i do love the effects of it but i feel like it's not that type of powder that i usually need like it has to cover up and it has to like put set my um, makeup in place um this is more like uh, again natural looking this is more like a spring summery uh powder and if you have more of a dry skin then i would recommend this one uh now another powder and this it's pretty exciting to talk about because this one it is ofra banana powder and i have a massive pan in it now so before i put it in i only used it like maybe i would say like a 10 times before i put it in this project pan and guess what i used it so damn much 26 times to be exact that I created a massive pan in there and I will be so excited to see this one done as well but I think I might just take this one at, out of the project the rolling project pan um we're gonna talk about that on a different video but right now I'm excited to announce I have a new pan new pan so exciting all right so for my under eyes I did use two things I had two things in this project pan I had this one from uh, Charlotte Tilbury the magic vanish one and this one is in medium I have used this one eight times i love to put this one when i go with something a little bit more simple because it doesn't even need to put a foundation on top of it it's a really beautiful color correcting or under eye correcting uh little thingy and i absolutely love it it is a definitely a beautiful product from charlotte tilbury and i really do like it it has a lot of products in here a lot of product in here but i definitely need to use this um when i just want more of a natural look that's when i used it when i just wanted more of a natural look something simple not too much uh going on on my face and i don't need a a, a concealer to go on top of that but if you want even more fuller coverage and you definitely want to delete your under eyes then use the combination use this one first and then use a um concealer afterwards and you're just gonna have magic magic results but yeah i absolutely love this one i only used it eight times i think i said yes eight times all right so this one i have used it 26 times this is the benefit bowing cakeless concealer i've used it a lot i'm not sure how much is in it because it i i cannot see inside but i think it's less than half because it has like a line in here that i was like trying to scrape on the sides to see how much it is so on that line it doesn't show any product so it's around here it ends around here in that line so i think it's less than half in here which i'm really glad because when i put it in the pan it was only used a few few times so i'm glad to see this one getting a little bit more used probably this is gonna stay in the next one as well because i really tried to finish that one too all right so now the biggest news the biggest news in the house the biggest news of today it is the bronzer the bronzer 
that I finished up. This is the <laughs> bronzer that I finished up. I'm super excited. Of course, this one does not have a whole lot of product. Did not have a whole lot of product. It's had three grams of product. And this one, it is... I used it so much that it, the, the lid broke. But this one, it is old, from Ulta Beauty, the matte bronzer. You know how big the pan was last time when I put it in here. And now it is finally finally done it's done i can say i pinned and i finished a um a bronzer in 2021 <laughs> this is exciting you guys you have no idea how exciting this is for me i have never had the opportunity <laughs> to finish a bronzer i know it's a small bronzer but a win it's still a win okay and i'm taking it as a win yes i have finished this bronzer and i have used it about 26 times because i've used it every single day i did my makeup i've used that every single day and I, 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 i'm done oh yes i finished a bronzer i finished a bronzer <laughs> All right, let's go to blushes. So for blushes, I had this one from Makeup Geek. I had these two that I believe they're called Devoted and Seduction. I played with them multiple times. You cannot see a whole lot of, you know, um, <laughs> a whole lot of... Uh, usage in it but i have used the this one a little bit more than this one and i do think you can see a little bit in there i had these for a long 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 time and i am going to discard it or i better said i'm going to give it to somebody else because i have so many blushes and I do really enjoy these blushes, but I have the same colors in different, um, from different brands. And I really need to start using my blushes a little bit better. So this one, unfortunately, I will have to say goodbye. It is time for me to concentrate on something else, but I do really love them. The only thing is... They're very intense, so you have to be very light-handed with these blushes. Very light-handed. But yeah, very beautiful blushes as well. So, there you go. Now, for highlighter. <laughs> for highlighter, I, I'm glad to see the usage that I did in this one. Um, it is a little bit more difficult to actually see it. But yes, you can totally see that the G, GC it has a little bit of worn down in there. And this one, I only used it like two or three times before it was in this project pan. And this is from Jero Cosmetics and it is in Sophia. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. And I'm glad I was able to finish up. I, I was able to use it this month because... I really do enjoy it and I, it's definitely going to be staying in my um, in my collection for a little bit longer. So for mascaras, mascaras, I had three mascaras, right? I had this one from Essence, which is the Lash Princess one, the volume mascara. And I used this one about nine times before it was all dried up. Uh, the Too Faced Damn Mascara, I used this one about seven times before it dried out. And this one is not dry yet, but it is going to get out of my collection because I have had this one in my collection for way too long, longer than six months. And I do not, I do not keep mascaras longer than six months. And so this one has to go. Um, and this is the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club, and it's going to go. 
I'm sorry, but it can't stay no more. But I did use this one about 20 times. Now for the lip category, <laughs> I haven't done that well this, in this category. I have to say, not that great. I'm going to start with the one that I did the best. I've used this one from Huda Beauty. This is the Lip Contour in Icon. I have used this one 22 times. It is beautiful. Beautiful. And I also did um, sharpen it three times. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm happy about that. It's beautiful. I'm glad to have it in my collection. I'm going to keep it in my collection for... I'm going to keep it in my collection because it's not too old. But one product that is kind of old in my collection is this one from Glam Light. This is in Churro. This is what I'm wearing today. This one with, oh, sorry, with the lip liner. Um, unfortunately, this one, it's a very dry formula and I just don't. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I think it ha I had it for too long in my collection to be able to wear it. I usually put a lip balm um, underneath it, but this time I used this one for like nine times, but I think it's time to let it go. Um, I have a lot of these colors in my collections already and there's no point of keeping something that makes my lips super dry, super dry. So, bye-bye. Another one that I had in my collection, I mean, another one that I had in this project pan, it is this one from uh, Rimmel London Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color in Scrunchy. Before I used, before I put it in the pan, I think I used it once or twice. And in the pan, I use it about 10 times. It's a nice one. It's a weird color. <laughs> it's a really in your face color. But I uh, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. And I'm going to continue to keep it in my collection. Um, now for glosses. Failure. <laughs> Failure with the glosses. Huge failure. Uh, this one is the NARS uh, in Orgasm. This is the mini one. I Let me add it a little bit right now. It looks nice. It's beautiful. But I just don't use lip glosses that much. And um, unfortunately, I have not used them that much this past month. Um, the NARS one, I have used it for eight times. And this one from Fenty Beauty, the Gloss Bomb, I only used it about six times. So, yeah, I have not used these too much. I have not used these too much. And I don't know, like, I cannot see any lines. I cannot see anything. Is it really that full? Is it full all the way until the front? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know what I'm going to do with all the lip glosses that I have. I just don't know. It's too much. I don't know. I don't know. But these are not done. I don't think they're close to be done. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. The last things that I did had in my collection that was that I did had in this project pan um they were from um Sol de Janeiro I had these two right here so this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian crush spray it was up until here so I did use it a bunch of times look at that this is how much I've used it I've used it about 17 times I like the scent of it. I really do enjoy it, but you don't need a lot of it. So I only spray once or twice the max. So it is really nice and it's um, it's been used. Not all the way down, but it's been used, okay? A little bit more than what it has been before. And then this one, it is the Coca Cabana Cream. I have used it all out. 
and I do really love this scent. Um, I just, you know, I always forget to put it on. I used it seven times and I usually used it for my hands, but also on my arms. And you can see it today, I put it on my arms as well. Ooh, gonna shine! <laughs> I really love how this one smells and feels on the skin. Ooh, let me put my ring back on because... Um, I always take it out when I put cream on my hand, but there you go, it's back on at the end of the video. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> okay, last thing that I have in here is this one from Luscious Angel Eye. I've used this one seven times. This is the eyeshadow primer base, and uh, I still have a lot in it. I just, um, I had it for way too long and I don't think it's good anymore. It doesn't look too great when I put it under my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to discard this one as well. Not, not my favorite. And I just don't want to punish myself by keep using it. Do you know what I mean? I just don't want to. Um, but yeah. And, and, and I have another product that i finished during this time so because i finished my um primers <laughs> so fast i also added this one this one it is the Too faced hangover primer and i have used it i used it about 17 times and i used it all out nothing left in here so this is the damage i produced in my collection this month let me know what have you finished what have you finished up let me know how excited are you for this spring for having new things in this uh, for having new things in the rolling project pan let me know down below and I thank you so much for being here and watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!